Uruguay World Cup 2018 Team Guide, Tactics, Key Predictions A new generation of dynamic, talented midfielders has prompted Oscar Tabarez to adopt a more creative approach. Rodrigo Bentancur, left, is among the new players who have made Uruguay more attractive to watch. Photograph, Adam Nurkwich, Getty Images Anyone who has been watching Uruguay over the past 10 years is familiar with Oscar Tabarez's style, his teams are built from the back to make it as difficult as possible for opponents to score. Then it is all about giving the ball to the team's world-class forwards, Luis Suarez and Edinson Cavani. Masha's Vecino, Uruguay star inspired by family tragedy who said no to Italy. His Uruguay sides have always been strong in central defence with full-backs who attack only when absolutely necessary. Then there is a midfield that traditionally has been much more combative than creative, with an emphasis on moving the ball forward as quickly as possible. It has been vertical football with one aim, to hit opponents on the break. Until now Uruguay have not needed to be much more than firm in defence and dangerous in attack, but then something happened. The team, together for so long, needed renewing? especially in midfield. And this changing of the guard has happened much more quickly than anyone thought possible. With the new players, a new style arrived. The emergence of players such as Federico Valverde, Deportivo La Coruna on loan from Real Madrid, Rodrigo Bentancur, Juventus, Nahit Nandez, Boca Juniors, and Masha's Vecino, Internacional, forced Tavares to change his approach. In the end, with these dynamic and talented players, the transformation of Uruguay's game plan was almost inevitable. For a long time Tabarez had said that Uruguay did not have the players to adopt a European style, e-physical as well as creative. Now he has them and, in the last World Cup qualifiers and subsequent friendlies, he has used a different approach. The defense remains the same with Diego Godin and Jose Maria Jimenez as being that rare combination at a World Cup, a pair who play together week in, week out, for Atletico Madrid. To the left, the hope is that Martin Caceres, Verona, will arrive in good shape after two injury hit seasons, and on the right there will be a battle between the experienced Maximiliano Pereira, Porto, and the young Guillermo Varela, Pinarol, to be in the eleven. It is in midfield where the real change has happened, Vecino is a guaranteed starter after a superb season with Inter but then there is a question of whether Batanker or Valverde will accompany him, both prefer to go forward and create rather than carry out defensive duties but they have developed from playing in Italy and Spain respectively. To the right, Nandes is expected to start while on the left Christian Rodriguez is the preferred candidate although he lacks the endurance of his earlier years. In attack, well, there is not much to add to the names of Cavani and Suarez. Remember, though, that structural changes take time to become a habit. The basic concept of 4-4-2 with pressure all over the pitch has not altered but the central midfielders now treat the ball better and the service to Suarez and Cavani is much improved. 